Hi there, I'm Dr. Heather Felgate from the Quadrium Institute, and I am going to talk to you quickly about my poster presentation at Mike Sock 2023. Um, so my research at the moment is looking into Noria staphylococci, isolated from neonatals, um, specifically in the neonatal unit. However, recently, uh, with some collaborators, we are looking at the diversity of Staphylococcus hemolyticus. The reason for this is that it's the second most frequently isolated non-aureus staph from humans. So it's isolated a lot. And also because of its name, hemolyticus also is associated with nosocomal infections. It causes a lot of sepsis and stuff, um, especially in neonates, get like late onset sepsis, which is where they get sepsis after three days of birth. Um, but it also causes sepsis in adults as well, who have maybe have had surgeries or immunosuppressed. So recently we've noticed that there isn't much information about out there about Staphylococcus hemolyticus, especially about their AMR profiles, the diversity of the, um, the, the group of itself. And so between myself, uh, so other members at the Quadrum Institute, or who are authors on this paper and members from the Arctic University of Norway, Pauline and our friends from Birmingham, Willem and Lisa and Ad from Utrecht, we've been co collecting a large collection of uh, collecting a large collection of Staphylococcus hemolyticus and sequencing them to understand the diversity of this group. So in the middle here, you can see there's a phylogenetic tree. Uh, most of it's from Illumina sequencing, but there are some long read sequences um, dotted in there as well. And we used Rory to form a core genome alignment and from this IQ tree to create this tree, which was then visualized in ITOL. So we nearly had a thousand isolates ranging from different countries from across Europe, ranging from 1975 to 2002, uh, and also from adults, neonatals, blood sepsis, uh, other clinical isolates, such as prosthetic joint infection or urine samples. And then we have from carriage as well, these kind of lighter pastel colors. So from skin, nose, gut, uh, stool, etc. So this tree is quite diverse. Um, I'm still doing a lot of work into this. And we're looking from the core genome presence and absence from Rory, using then SCORI to have a look at what genes are present and absent and that are significantly associated with different groups. So we kind of had a look at this tree and thought there's kind of three groups. There seem to be this group at the bottom here, this green, pale green clay group round here, which isn't really associated with neonatal sepsis at all, but associated with neonatal carriage. There were a few isolates at the bottom here associated with adult sepsis, adult blood, blood cultures, but no neonatal. So this kind of group, and it also had most of the neonatal stool samples in as well. So this seemed to be, have very few clinical isolates associated with it and tend to be fairly frequently. And most of them were from the UK and German isolate uh, NICU units that we had collected. The next kind of group is this blue one up here which seemed to be the most diverse group. And it also contained environmental isolates. So if there's isolates from the International Space Station, for example, um, but there was a lots of adult community, adult skin isolates, um, but also there was a high amount of clinical isolates associated with blood cultures from adults and neonatals here. Um, and then we have the orange kind of group over here, which contained most adult and neonatal clinical isolates. Um, and had a huge range of time, so from 1989 through to current day. And so this orange group seemed to be associated more with blood isolates than the others. Isolates, so looking at SCORI, isolates that were taken from blood cultures, they had genes present that were more associated with metal transportation than non-blood isolates. And their AMR, AMR genes that came up quite a lot using SCORI was the canamycin resistance. These seem to be associated with the blood isolates more. Um, whereas looking at timestamps to see if there's any more genes associated with more recent isolates, just tended to look at BMRA, which is a multi-drug resistance ABC transporter, um, and Eliza Staffin resistance gene, which might explain why 
I have so many problems trying to get DNA out stuff like off. But that's a story for another day. Um, so there's a lot more information to look at in this tree in here, but this is a quick overview of our um collection of hemolytics at the moment. I'm still kind of data crunching through them right now. So if you have any other, oh, I was going to zoom out. If you have any other questions or anything, please feel free to contact me on the MikeSock app or um, via email, which is on the poster here. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you for your time. Bye.